Jackie Lyon once said with the sea behind us and the mountains on top of us, there wasn't much else to do but play football. That's a passion. If it's a disease. You know, we're only passing that flame, that love of Kerry football from generation to generation. There's lots of challenges, obviously, in the LSDs. The games are coming thick and fast. Look, we have a young panel now this year. It'll be interesting and it's exciting with new management as well. Between Blackwater and Temple Nord, there's only about three or 400 people, so you kind of, you'd know most people are right. Everybody's very friendly, everybody gives the country away when they're passing in the car and stuff like that. Well, GA is huge in this area, you know. Everyone's involved in it. It's a very important part of everyone's life. For years and years, playing with Kerry was a kind of a mystery to us. Like, you know, these guys were, were superstars. And when you see one of our own, like Ty, playing with Kerry, it, it brings great pride to the parish. And it, it proves to every young fella coming up, like, that he can play with Kerry. He can be a Ty Morley, you know. And, and I mean, that's what it's all about. Oh, yeah, he'd help out in some of the trainings, and he's great help. I think it's really cool that you have a coach as a Kerry team player. My mom thinks it's great. Every new fella even, you know, Tiger's nearly the first fellow who go over, have a chat with you, give you a few words of advice, a bit of encouragement, you know, it's super. Keep it down, unlucky, unlucky, unlucky. Next ball, next ball. He's a great example of what can be done with a little bit of dedication. Every time he pulls on that Kerry jersey, he really represents his club and his family and even the school here with, with huge pride. There's plenty of setbacks, I suppose, seeing fellas progress through and get on to the seniors and you kind of think, geez, that could have been me if I took my chance here or I took my chance there. But I suppose if you just keep working hard, you'll get there eventually. Tom would have helped a lot, kind of just little words here and there or bits of encouragement. No words of advice as such, only just to really play as natural and enjoy himself as natural as he can and the best the tide will come out then. Believe it or not, Kerry supporters, I think, haven't seen the best of him. I think he needs to, to be left off the leash and psh, go. That's what he needs. You know, when I started playing first, it was Gooch and Kieran Donaghy and Darren O'Sullivan, Dunica Walsh, Aidan O'Mahony, all these fellas. You know, you have to earn their respect, I suppose, by going toe to toe with them in training and showing off that you work hard and you're willing to do anything for Kerry. Hopefully, that's what they, they, they taught of me. Please, God. Whenever he makes a play, it's always tends to be a big play. And he's so emotional in the field that he's kind of that brings other fellas along. And even when you're kind of in the middle of a, a big game, he can really just kind of get you out of a funk and kind of really inspire his teammates to kind of keep going. <laughs> What's the crack? Right. Craig was about seven, maybe. And himself and John had a project going on who could throw the ball over the house. <laughs> and I looked out the back window and I saw Tyke standing in the bonnet of the car, <laughs> trying to throw the ball over the house. <laughs> Do you remember the time we went to, to France on holidays oh, and yeah. he got word that, that the seniors were playing yeah, the croaks? Yeah. Back, we were only over and back he came, <laughs> on his own, back from That's France yeah. so that he could yeah. play against the gooch. <laughs> <laughs> one ten or something like that. The scored one ten. <laughs> <laughs> you were sorry, sorry you didn't that's stay that's where you were <laughs> on holidays. <laughs> Dad instilled that love of Kerry within us and excitement around football. When years passed in and I started playing with Kerry, everybody was so happy and always told me how, how proud my dad would have been. Like so, it was amazing. There's no airs or graces. There's no, I'm better than the rest. He's Tyg Morley and he's one of us. <laughs>